Hey friends. <coughs> Thought I'd stop in. I've been way behind the last few days. Uh, three or four days. <coughs> kind of out of pocket. And believe it or not, this is my first bowl of pipe tobacco today. I'm smoking some uh, uh, Kentucky Blizzard from Don Juan's in Baton Rouge. This is the blend with the uh, bourbon, cranberry, and lime, and some other, something else in it. And it's good. I'm smoking it in a um, Lorenzetti bent, rusticated uh, billiard. And Lorenzetti had partnered with Pajarn on this particular model. And it is a great smoker. And I bought this pipe at, um, I hadn't smoked it in a while. I don't know why she's been sitting, you know, I've had a couple of new ones or three, well, since Christmas and all. Uh, I've had four or five new ones. And, you know, you get on them, you get on your new ones, and some you you just wind up setting them one sitting in a pipe rack. But this one, I said, man, you know, every time I grab it, I said, this ought to be one I get some pretty good work out. But, Anyhow, I love the the shape of the bow, the top of the bow. Of course, the rustication on this one. This one, what what caught my eye, and uh, but um, it's kind of a and of course the stem, you know. But uh, got it from just for him in in uh, Springfield, Missouri. And if y'all are ever up that way, I believe, let's see, yeah, I think you take US-65, my dad's cabin is off of US-65, and my, just before you get to Marshall, Arkansas, up in the mountains, <coughs> and they, I think it's straight, 65, I believe that is, takes you straight on into Branson, and from there on, it's not far on into Springfield. If you're going through Springfield, it's worth that three mile off the main highway. Springfield's a pretty good size city. But it's worth give yourself allow yourself an hour, spend some time in there. It is the nicest, best brick and mortar I've ever been in. I've said this before, they carry the largest selection of the you know, of tobacco blends, big jars and they've got some great ones, um the long bottom leaf and there's one that um Nathan smokes. I can't remember. Son of a gun. Thought I never would forget that. I least in English. Um, very nice people, helpful, and they encourage. They they want to ship out across the country. Some of them are kind of well, you know, um, maybe yeah, you know, even MAs get that away occasionally. But um, you know, of course, MAs are just worried about the FDA. They want okay, all dot all the eyes across, you know. Across all the T's, but uh, in this place, uh, I I bet you they probably got 130 to 150 big jars of blended tobacco. And they're probably 50 or 60 of them. Or they're truly blending themselves. And I've said this before also, but I had to go to the bathroom while I was there. Went back through their storage area to get their big work area. And there's big bags of sugar, um, cherry mix stuff there. There's There was bourbon and rum and whiskey, and there was... Uh, all kind of different vanilla flavorings, and they truly, they're not just buying a Lane Limited or a McClellan or a Sutliff or something. They're they are they're blending. Now, some of them they are, but they're probably blending at least 50 of them themselves, and that's what the guy told me. I think he said about 55 that they truly blend, and even in age, you know, they carry about 30 blends, and only about four or five of them are they truly blended. Some are Lane Limited is on there. Some are different, you know, different ones, and, they, and that's what a lot of them do. And they'll put their name on it. It's just like um, MAs with their Burley Light. It's Lane Limited Burley Light. Nobody is what it is. And there's some others like BCA. Um, now, I did buy BCA from uh, Lane Limited, but it says uh, it'll tell you Lane Limited BCA. But uh, I like this little blend. Everything is subtle in it. You can you can taste the bourbon, 
and you can taste the uh, subtleness of the cranberry and then, then all of a sudden you get a little something and you say well, there's the lime but it's not you, you know it's, it's it's mild and it's good paired up with the with everything kind of maybe I guess they're kind of <coughs> patterning it after a drink you might get down in Cancun or somewhere you know <laughs> had a good weekend and it been really had a lot going on and that's why I've been a wall from YouTube um, had a lot going on, and we um, had dinner with a couple that Friday night that's in the food trailer business and enjoyed that. that we we met them several times. First time we've been out socially with them, and was able to swap some uh, helpful hints to each other and give each other some leads and stuff, and uh, talk to two great friends of mine on. Uh, Two good friends that are pie presenters here on the phone Friday, Piper Field and uh, Pipe Patty. Had a good conversation with both of those gentlemen. Very nice guys and enjoyed it immensely. And, and Philip, I want to let you know, I was I'm, I can't take the credit for it. My wife did it, but she did. I told her what you said, how to clean that spot on the carpet. <coughs> Philip does a lot of carpet restoration where you know, he's, he's in that kind of business. And she she did it, and it looks like we may have hit pay dirt with it this time. I spilled a, a yours truly spilled a big mug of one of these sit go mugs of Coca Cola on it, and it's of course it, with a Coca Cola, it it you know you think you had it clean, and a couple of days later it just come back through. So, and of course talked to Pappy, um, Chris, Pipe Pappy. Pipe Pappy and I mirror a lot. He's we we um, have both been in different, many multiple type businesses, and we've <coughs> um, kind of mirror each other as far as being uh, business risk takers through the years. And we talked about some gambles we had taken that had paid off, and some that hadn't, and some that we wished we'd have done, and others that were glad we didn't. And I just had a good conversation with him. And, um, had a whole lot in common with that because I've always been uh, someone called me just a wheeler dealer, you know, and I, I don't see the, that. But I mean, I I do I have involved myself in different businesses. Gasoline was always my main business in convenience stores, but I always uh, do, if you want to call it small business diversified. I always had a couple of things going and would build them up and sell them and. Some of them I'd run a couple of years. Some of them made money and some of them didn't, you know. But it just used to be, I hadn't done it as much in the last five or six years. Uh, we're just kind of getting back in it with this food trailer. But uh, when I, up until when I got about 40, 41, I slowed down some. And up until then, it seemed like energy was just better. And <laughs> of course, it was easier to do things then, you know, without all the regulations, without all the, it was just easy to go borrow a little money if you needed to. And that's what Pipe Pappy and I were talking about. <coughs> and it was all, it's, it was a hobby. Business was always a hobby for me. That's how I made my living, but it was fun, and I enjoyed it. And it was a hobby, and I look forward to going to work. But I tell you, and guy, I don't mean this offensive, but the government, <laughs> who is our politicians, have taken the fun out of it. They have just regulated us to death involved in every aspect of our lives and you know they've made it worth just not fun to, to do it anymore but then i had another surprise uh friday evening about four our son phone rang about i got in about four and a little after four the phone rang about four twenty and uh, it was our son, and he said, "What are you doing?" And I said, "Well, I'm hadn't been in long. I'm just not, I'm watching a little YouTube right now, and about 30, 40 minutes. About I'm gonna jump in the shower and get ready. We gotta meet some friends of ours uptown." And I said, "What are you doing? You uh, you in Baton Rouge, or are you going back to New Orleans for the weekend? Because until he gets to Lafayette, he's training uh, in Baton Rouge, and until um, the store gets opened in Lafayette, and." Um, a lot of times on the weekends, his fiance will either come there or her parents, they've got a spare bedroom. And 
they think a lot of him and they allow him to stay there in the spare bedroom. So he, they're going to commute back and forth and kind of have a long distance courtship their final months before the wedding in May. And uh, he said, he said, no, he said, uh, actually, I'm uh, just coming up on Well Road on the interstate. Of course, I perked right up because Well Road is only about four miles from where we live. So he came in to see us and we were very thankful for that. And spent the weekend with us. Uh, he got started today. It was his first day on his new job. He's worked with this company before. Uh, everything's going, working well for him. And they put him on a little salary to train. So that's, that's going to, and that was what he, he got what he, what they had told him. And, um, so, um, Anyway, I had a good visit with him. We've got a couple of we had a couple of new presenters in the last couple of days. Uh, of course, one he's really he's been around a couple of weeks, and that's uh, Dean uh, the Wild Inside, great guy from California. If y'all hadn't checked seen his videos, check him out. But one, and I think this is who Mike was talking about, Smoking Briar, was telling me to check this guy out. And uh, I think Mike, I think we're on the same page here. If it is, it's. Uh, and I don't know his name. And Pappy, you may have already met him, but he's from over in your neck of the woods around Tulsa. Um, he goes by Oaky Cigar and Pipe Smoker. He's uh, seemed like going to be a good, great asset to the community. And he's mainly into cigars right now, just fixing to get into the pipe deal. But he's going to be a good asset. And y'all, like I say, let's 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 support these new presenters because. You know, you have some of the old ones, they drop out for whatever reason, get tired, and we don't hear you know, of it or whatever, burn out from it, don't hear nothing from them. And, you know, you got you always got some, you know, you got some of the old hands that hang around. You know, some of us you can't run off, but then, you know, you, it takes the new ones to keep us going. And, y'all, let's, let's really, let's really uh, support them because, like I say, we were all new at one time. I never forget Alfred Henry Sim. One of the first ones. He, I think, he was the first one that welcomed me to the community. Of course, I came in about the time that uh, Matches Eight Six Zero was still doing Matches Moments every Friday, and he would give a shout out. He had a strong deal, a lot bigger following than the Five Under Fifty Five deal. And he was real regular with it, and and. You know, he'd get tons of hits, but he would give shout outs to the new presenter. And as soon as he did that, then I got a 50 sub boost right, boom, you know, right off the bat. That's how powerful he was. But he's not doing them anymore. So, you know, it it takes us all to help get these people out, get, get their names out. Let's support them, make them welcome. We are sitting here with prayer said and. Fingers crossed. We're, we've got about a 65, 70% chance of winter remix tonight. And I seen Mike's video. They y'all got it tough there. I pray we don't get none of that. We're not supposed to get that. We're supposed to get some sleep nice by morning. And a couple times I thought I've heard it. I've been watching the Doppler radar, and it's it's swirling a little beneath us. And I hope it stays beneath us. <coughs> of course, tomorrow it's supposed to get up. It's about 36, uh, then Wednesday up in the 40s, and of course by Sunday nearly 70. So, but it was uh, when the sun went down, it was 29 degrees out there. Started raining, and it actually warmed it up. It's still hovering right around for the freezing mark right now, but the rain is gone. But I'm, I'm worried about maybe two or three o'clock. So we're gonna get up early in the morning and. Take the truck on into Farmville. I'm uh, going to try to do the driving in the morning. She usually goes by herself, but I almost ran out of time. Look, um, y'all take care, and we'll get back on track tomorrow. Thank y'all for watching, and thank you for your friendship, mostly. Take care, and God bless.